well, let them know you appreciate them being here tonight. kind of music right there. I love that high harmony and that guitar telepicking. Oh, it's good. Isn't that good? I mean, that sounds like Nashville right there. Jesus hit Nashville. There it is. I'm going to tell you. Oh, it's good now. All right. So, Zach, Zach and Rodney. Yeah. And Michael, right? Yes, sir. All right. So, I, Zach. Yeah, how are you, Zach? You doing good? Here, you got to talk in your microphone. I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. wonderful, and I like the hat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. yeah. Now, where are you from, Zach? I'm from a small town called Trinity, North Carolina. Well, welcome to Trinity City. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that? It just all fits. Yeah. I love your telly, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, how long have you been playing the guitar? I've been playing since I was 12, and yeah. I'm 27. So, who, t tell me, tell me uh, one of your, uh, who's one of your favorite guitar pickers? Brad Paisley. In town, here he is. I knew <laughs> I heard something like that down there. All right, so, uh, uh, Rodney. Yes, sir. Rodney, now you uh, got a little history behind you here. I do. Yeah, uh, got in trouble with the law, I heard. I did. At a younger age. I did. Share a little bit of your Sure, testimony. just like many of us, uh, I made uh, some very poor choices early in my life, and uh, got uh, sentenced to some community service. The judge showed me some, some mercy. And, uh, and with that being said, he said that I could probably do it at a, at a church if I could find one that wouldn't mind. And so I went to 
the janitor of the church that I used to attend, and he said, well, one condition, I'll let you do your community service there. And I said, what's that? And he said, you've got to attend my Sunday school class one time. Hey. I said, you got a deal there. And so I, I, I only plan on going once, just to be honest. But that same church and that same Sunday school class, uh, where I used to scrape the gum off the back of the pews and what have you, was the same church where I accepted Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 That same Sunday school class I wound up teaching. That was the first Sunday school class I ever taught. <laughs> yeah. And uh, got called to preach at that same church, awesome. ordained to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, just so happened to marry the janitor's daughter, <laughs> who just so happened to have a brother named Zach. <laughs> and so now you have Zach and Rodney Ministries. Hey, make no mistake about it. God's got a plan for your life. Amen. 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 Wow. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's God, brother. I'm just wondering if, if he would have asked you to come to class if he knew you was going to marry his daughter. No, I'm, just, I I, 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 I'm just kidding. I I just, I'm just kidding. I had to say that. I'm so sorry. I but I, I really love your style of, of music. And Thank you. Now, do you, you write this? Yes, sir. Yeah? Uh, where did that, that hold on a little longer come from? Well, that, that particular song there, I mean, like many of us, we've heard all of our life that Jesus is coming back. And, you know, many of us has just grown up hearing our parents and grandpas and grandmas saying, hey, Jesus is coming back, Jesus is coming back. Preachers are telling you, but he hasn't come back yet. But there's one thing I found out about this. We just got to hold on a little bit longer. Yeah. Amen. Wait on the Lord. He's going to renew our strength. Praise the Lord. Amen. And while we're waiting, he's renewing our strength. He loves us too much to answer our prayers too quick sometimes. Amen. He's just renewing our strength. Praise the Lord. We just got to hold on a little bit longer. He's never went bad on one of his promises. Amen. It's forever settled in heaven. Praise God. So we just got to hold on, brother. Man, I'm He's coming. You, I can tell He's you, coming you've been called to preach. I, I can tell that. <laughs> He's got to preach down in him, doesn't he? I love it. I love it. Okay, so let, now tell me a little bit about uh, uh, Michael here. Come, I'm going to walk in front of you. That's You're a right horrible in. thing to do. You're doing but uh, Michael, how are you? I'm blessed, brother. Yes, sir. I'm blessed. You like traveling with these guys? No. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> well, uh, I love them. Now, you do your own separate ministry. Yes, sir. Uh, traveling on the road. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm country as cornbread. You yeah. know. <laughs> uh, I grew up singing, you know, good old Henson songs and George Jones and Merle yeah. Haggard and stuff like that. And I seemed, I grew up around country music and stuff my whole life. And right. I started singing that. And first song I ever sang out in public was a song called The Lighthouse. Really? In church. and um, I know that one real well. I took and uh, I got in when I was 17 years old. I, I got away from the Lord and I started playing nightclubs. Wasn't even old enough to get in these places, but yet I was being pursued with offers to uh, to come. And when you're 17 and somebody offers you 100 bucks to come yeah. stand up and sing, it's pretty enticing. And it didn't take long before that life just kind of consumed me. And um, I got about as far away from the Lord as somebody could get. And I stand up here. I got a wife and three beautiful babies. And it's by the grace of God that I didn't lose them out on the road doing country music. But God convicted my heart. Went to church with my wife one Sunday. And um, there's a change. Second Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things pass away. Behold, all all things become as new. I love it. And when, he, when that change took place, I didn't know. I had a couple opportunities in country music. Um, I was with a, a duo called Buck and Duke, and we'd done a few showcases with Curb Records, and yeah. was talking with people from Sony, and was on the verge of signing a pretty big deal with country music, but God convicted me. He convicted the guy I was singing with, and... He had a different call on his life with his kids, and God put me right in the middle of a ministry. And sometimes I wonder, really, is this, yeah. is this really what I'm called to do? And I'm just thankful. Man, I'm very thankful today. Wow. Love you, man. Um, isn't that awesome how God works? I got to see your family uh, meet your kids. Yeah. And that, uh, two, two little girls. Yep. And... Little fella. Little Mason. Little yeah. Mason. He's yeah. a trip. 
and and sweet wife, just oh, yeah. just a sweet gal. Yep. And uh, God's really blessed you. I'm, yes, I'm just so glad I got to meet them and uh, see how God is working in your life. Thank now, you. okay, I, I'm supposed to wrap this up and let y'all sing again, but I've enjoyed this and I don't want to quit talking uh, with you guys. Now you have a latest CD called Biscuits from Heaven. You got it. Is that right? You got it. So, so I feel like there's going to be a mud and truck come out here somewhere <laughs> here in just a minute. That'll be on the next album. That's Double Country got, and hey, Biscuits look, from Heaven, too. There you go. I got my boots on, there so I'm go. ready to roll yeah. with you, all right? So, uh, and, and I love this. I'm thank, thankful that y'all share this style of music. Now, Michael, you have a, a CD, right, yes, entitled uh, Self-Titled. Yes, sir. Michael Lee, right? Right. And so they can go to your website. It's up on the screen right now you can't see it but it's there and they can go to yours Zach and Rodney and and get the biscuits from heaven and uh, Michael Lee's biscuits from heaven amen yeah. and but they can also see you out on the road out on tour y'all touring together right now yeah, right? right we also have an album together uh, we did a tribute song to the singing cook family and the Henson family Oh. And uh, we got to do that and cut a video, and uh, the Singing Cooks was in it, and Ronnie Henson was involved with the video, and it's actually on Christian Radio right now, so y'all call and request Cooks and Hensons. All right, that's but, perfect. Um, the, uh, the Double Country album, you can also go to Daywin Records' website and pick that up. That's wonderful. There we go. Guys, I can't thank y'all enough for being here thank you. and being real and being true to who you are and this music. I love this country sounding gospel music. That's what I was born and raised on. So thank you all so very much for doing it. Will you let them know you appreciate them being here tonight? Come on. Come on. Let them know you appreciate them. God bless you. Do us another song, all right? Throwing his life away Cause for every empty bottle There's another wasted day They say he's fallen way too many times To ever get back on his feet I heard tell he's been sober now Going on three Even when
Zach and Rodney, thank you so much for being here. Come on, you gotta let these guys know you appreciate them. Woo!